This is another Done Right by Dad videos. It's late in the afternoon, just put the kids down. It's time to do a video. So, I've never owned a fish finder before. And relatively new into the sport. Me and my wife are gonna go ice fishing tomorrow. So, I went and bought a Hummingbird Ice 35. It came with no instructions. And as far as I could find, there wasn't really any good videos to show me how to assemble this thing. So I'm going to make one. Alright, what you're going to need for this project? Flathead. Star. This is your head unit. I kind of half assembled everything already for speeding up the video. So we'll start with screwing on the head unit. I've got one bolt in already. They come like this. You put a little rubber washer on the inside. Another little rubber washer. Stick that one on the inside of the unit. Or the stand, I should say. Not the unit. Like so. Do the exact same on the other side. the star, putting this on. This slides in directly on the bottom, just slides in this way, like this, straight in. Got four screws, two on either side, tighten them up. Now, these little guys where you wrap the wire around the posts, well they come like that, just a post. Then you get one of these, with this little tiny piece of metal that's got threads on the inside. That goes directly in the top. Those are your threads for your screw. Put that in there. Push it in nice and flat. Like so. Then Then you got this screw. Love you. Screw. And a little tiny spring. Put the spring on the screw like so. Flip it over. Take your head unit, your head bolt. It goes out that way. Like so. Flathead. Screw it in the bottom. Now she's snug. Don't go too snug, it's plastic, you break things. Okay. Now, like so. See? And you can lift and turn these things to get them out of your way if you're. Pulling out wire, back in. <clears throat> Battery straps, run through the bottom, the Velcro straps it comes with. There's little tiny cut holes, and you just feed it through. Put it for your battery, wrap over. This is your power cord, for powering your unit. What I like are these guys. Come with lock the light, a little double tang, so you can leave your unit attached to the battery and clip a charger to it at the same time. Pretty good idea. Tuck it under, and they only go in one hole. And stick it in. Now, one thing. What I was confused about was this transducer. Transducer, hummingbird, all your cable with your connector. I said, I know what that's for, okay. So what's this for? I was thinking. It's got a pinched end on one side, a metal piece on this side. And then I noticed 
there's slots cut into this in the top. Then I seen this guy with this hole in it. So this goes through the hole. If I can actually get it through there. All the way down to that little metal nub. And that is your safety leash for your transducer. And that goes right on top like so and clips in. That way, your transducer wire, this guy here, isn't getting yanked on when it's in the ice. This is the safety leash. Alright. That being said, all the wires go up underneath here. To the back of your transducer. And mm, they are stiff. Oh, I figured if I put this thing back like that, it makes it a little easier to get in here. And I've got a couple of wires. So the spots to put the wire in down here and start braiding it, winding it up whenever you want. And it even comes a little spot for the transducer to sit in. Like so and this leash, well, we're gonna figure out where to put that. I haven't found a spot for it yet where I want it to sit. So we're just gonna wrap that up. That's pretty much the unit. I mean, besides the battery, which is charging. I mean, if you don't know red, positive, black, negative, then you don't belong anywhere near your battery. But yeah, put your battery in. Oh, this is your little insulated battery holder. Keeps the ice or the coldness off the battery. That lays back in here. You just lay it on there flat. Because when you stuff the battery in, it's going to fold up on both sides. And snug in and hold it tight. And that's about it for that. We're gonna go, this is our little tree. And it holds all the rods. Hello, hon. <laughs> holds your auger, holds pretty much everything you need. And there's the tent and the tarp, or the sled. All right, you guys have a good one. And if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe.